it is hot today so I figured might as well go for a ride and today we got a special treat for you all right so deputies were doing a security check the homeowners out of town and their neighbors watching the house saw people at the house deputies get here try to contact them ask them what they're doing and one of them runs the other one wants to fight so we're gonna check and see how the deputies are doing The deputies got here, they were checking this property. The homeowner told his neighbor no one's supposed to be on the property while he's gone. So the neighbor did the right thing and called it in. Deputies get out here, contact a male and a female. They both come back with warrants for unlawful possession of a firearm. They go to take the male in custody. He resists, they have to go to the ground. And at that point, the female half takes off on foot through the houses here. So we're still looking for her out in the woods. This guy complaining about his arm hurting, saying he took fentanyl this morning, wants to go to the hospital, so we're going to have to drop him off there, but he's going to get charged for the resisting arrest and obstruction, in addition to at some point he's got to go to jail for his warrant. So we know who she is because we ran her before she ran, so all she's doing is adding another charge that she's going to get another warrant on, and we'll end up finding her again later. I don't know if you already noticed, but Deputy Capetto is here with us and she's gonna be doing our Friday ride today and she's gonna be hanging out with the PIO office all summer long. <laughs> all right, so we just went over to talk to some deputies. They were at a domestic violence where the son broke a window. He's in his 20s. And now we got a call on Meridian that he was throwing stuff at a U-Haul truck and he just went to a smoke shop. So we're gonna see if we can find him and get him in custody for that uh, malicious mischief. We're looking for a kid. He just walked in here wearing tan shorts. Redhead? Yeah, I think so. Or blonde, light blue. Yeah, I think, I think it, the redhead kid. I heard one of my other customers talking and saying he was like screaming at cars. Yeah. I did not see where he went. But he, he left was already. Just here, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, we checked. The smoke shop, our subject wasn't there. The delay on hit, the call him being over there was probably about five to 10 minutes. So not sure where he is. We know who he is. So when he shows back at home, mom can call us and we can come arrest him for that. So I like to check areas where I know we have issues. And here at the Winco, people like to park on the backside and use drugs and stuff. So we're just gonna See what's going on with this guy. He passed out. How's it going? Good. You doing all right? Yeah, I'm good. You guys taking a break? Yeah. Yeah, uh, drove. Just checking on you. Drove her. Uh, this is actually her dad's car. Her dad's car? Okay. All right. And no warrants or anything? No warrants. Can we check? Uh, you got a driver's license with you? Yeah, we don't have any warrants for anything. Alright, so we're still in the lot here, but you know, if somebody's parked at the back, they're usually trying to avoid being around other people. And what we find a lot is they're using drugs in this case. They're just taking a rest. They're getting ready to go back on a long road trip. And if they had bags of groceries, they were shopping, and everything checks out. So we just had a good conversation. <laughs> All right, I'm sure you guys are sick of me, so I'm gonna pass the mic over to my partner here. Carly, it's your turn. Plus, I gotta get the camera guy out of my passenger seat. I like to ride alone, all right? So the vehicle ahead of me has um, two tail lights out um, when they break, so I'm gonna conduct a traffic stop just to kind of give them a courtesy heads up that they've got two lights out. If the third light goes out, they're, they won't have anything. A lot of times people don't know that. Hey, Pierce County Sheriff's Department, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, just a heads up, I do have my camera on, it is audio okay. video recording. I'm merely doing a courtesy stop to let you know you have a tail light out. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's it's once the other tail light goes out, then you would have nothing. Okay. Because um, again, a lot of times people don't realize they have them out. 
I'm more concerned at night though, if cars can't see them, that they would get rear-ended and then we get a lot of serious accidents. Other than that, on to the next one. We are at the Fred Myers 176 in Meridian and there's a vacant piece of property that sits next to a school and it also sits between a bunch of stores. A lot of times in the summer, the transients decide to move in when school is out and they know that the property not isn't being checked often. So we're actually gonna go down there today to make sure nobody's decided to move in. That way when school does resume, we're not having any issues. I had somebody living in here last year Yep. This definitely is a problem area. We get a lot of illegal burning back here with transients. As you can see with the trees and the surrounding buildings and the school nearby, it could be definitely a problem with hot weather. Yeah, watch for poop. <laughs> that means it's trespassing. So I actually recently, before school was out, uh, chased a, a suspect through here that was trespassing and he decided to run to the school thinking that that was a good idea. 434, can you put me on a security check on the property east of Stahl? There's a mail that just ran down here. There's one available routine. Now he's running onto Stahl campus. I'm gonna to try to make contact. Subject is not complying. He's running towards the school campus. I said you're not free to go. What do you mean? Stop! For what? Stop! You're what trespassing! Do you mean? Well, not. You're trespassing! What? Yes, you are! I go to school here. What? You don't go to school here. Can I just walk? Okay, you're being detained until I can find out what's going on. I'm just passing through. Uh uh. What do you mean, uh? You're detained until I can what? figure out what. Why? You're doing, you're on school property? School's over. No, it's not. What about those people? Look at those people. No, the property you went Look through. Look at those people. Listen Look to me. Look at those people, man. The property you went through has trespass signs all over it. Where? The one you just walked no, through. No, not. Over by Fred Myers. No, I didn't walk through there. Hi. Hi. A little exercise today? Just a little bit right off the bat. So fortunately, I was able to apprehend him and take him into custody. All right, as you're coming back from that property, there was a homeless gentleman that had admitted to my partner he had jumped the fence and he was just kind of looking for a place to hang out. Well, what, what's up with you? Why are you in the retention pond area? So another reason why we come back here, because if we don't, it'll get out of control. Uh, we educated him on, you know, if you're going to jump a fence, you're trespassing. And so he was compliant. Yeah, he did have some yeah. warrants well, that were non-bookable for them. us. Kind of. And uh, he wasn't causing any problems, so we decided to kind of let him be on his way. Darren doesn't do good in the sun. Yeah. So we just arrived at a traffic collision, 192nd and canyon this is where they're diverting a lot of traffic with the canyon road closure so definitely have had a lot of congestion um, two cars ended up colliding so we're just going to go check it out you are you okay yeah okay awesome i hope you feel better all right i went ahead and talked to one of the victims in the ambulance and she's okay she's very appreciative but um unfortunately these happen especially with all the traffic congestion now going on with the detour her license plate fell off the front, so she said we could put it back in her car. Uh, we definitely don't want to leave uh, license plates leaving out or they get stolen and then it's bad news. Oh, 
We got a female subject that's in a Jeep. It's very hot outside. She appears to be sleeping or passed out, and the vehicle is um, not licensed properly. So we're just gonna do a welfare check at this point and see what's going on. Ma'am, Pierce County Sheriff's Department, how are you? Just checking on you. Yes. Okay, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, how long have you been here? Uh, I'm just doing a welfare check. You're not yeah. in trouble. No, just a couple hours. Yeah. Okay, are you homeless right now or do you. No, I live down the street. I got in a fight with my boyfriend. Oh, okay. Yeah. So just kind of chilling out for a little bit? Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, it's really hot outside, so. Yeah. And I wasn't sure if you were awake or. Which... No, I'm awake. Okay. I ended up checking on the female that was in the driver's seat of the blue Jeep. Um, she was breathing, she was alive, she was well, she was chatting with me. I could definitely tell that she was um, nervous and uh, she did provide her name and then decided that she didn't want to stick around. So um, she doesn't have to, it's a social contact. Um, it was merely a welfare check for her because she was passed out in her vehicle, but I didn't have any reason to um, keep her or detain her. So she was on her way. Thanks for riding with us today. Hopefully you had as much fun as we had and hopefully you didn't get as much sun as Darren got. Yeah, but it looks good on me. <laughs> we'll see you next time.